Last Thursday's town hall meeting in Providenciales was a disappointment, according to some. In the Gustavo Sports Complex, some residents were outraged, unhappy with recommendations for changes to the TCI's constitution by Kate Sullivan, constitutional and electoral advisor. That meeting ended with residents burning the recommendations, forcing members of the police to shut the building down. Talks on that meeting went on for days. With releases from the governor, His Excellency Gordon Weatherall, and consultative forum chair Lillian Mizick. Tonight, leader of the Progressive National Party, Clayton Green, in a press release said the PNP party has long taken the position that the mandate of Kate Sullivan was unacceptable and offensive to the people of the Turks and Caicos Islands. Green added that having seen the recommended changes to the 2006 Constitution, it is even more clear that the entire review process is a sham and that there is not now nor has there ever been any true desire to ascertain and or to give effect to the desire of the people. He said, quote, the persons attending that meeting felt the futility of the exercise and were insulted by the unwillingness of the loan commissioner to give effect to their illegitimate concerns. Having come to that determination and having recognized the exercise for the insulted was, they refused to sit there and be treated like fools. The people of the Turks and Caicos Islands spoke loudly. They spoke and said to the administration that they will settle for nothing less than the rights embodied in the 2006 Constitution. They stood in a ceremonial expression of disgust and demonstrated their objection to the futile exercise without violence but in no uncertain terms. As a Turks and Caicos Islander and as a leader of the PNP party, I want to say how proud I am of those who were prepared without counting the cost to stand up and stand together." End quote. Now, Human Rights Commissioner Doreen crouch Stubb, speaking to News 4, said the people of the Turks and Caicos missed an important opportunity. I think we missed a golden opportunity Amen. to understand exactly what it was all about. Of course, people have a right to, to their expressions, freedom of expressions, freedom to assemble. Nobody's trying to take that away. But then for those who wanted to be there and those who wanted to, to, to make comments, that was an opportunity that was not afforded to them. They had a right as well to be heard. Also in a statement to our newsroom, the Human Rights Commissioner said, quote, Fundamental rights and freedoms must be afforded to all persons. One's right to freedom of expression and freedom of assembly and association ought not to be trampled on by others. This period of consultation and review is very important and must not be taken lightly. Let us therefore endeavor to engage ourselves in a dialogue and make our voices heard in a constructive manner without having to resort to behaviors and actions that directly infringes on the rights and freedoms of others." End quote.